hey guys, this is how you can basically um, make devices that do not support EAP Wi-Fi actually work with EAP Wi-Fi. I know it's crazy, but it's actually doable. All you need is a computer, and this computer needs to be able to access EAP Wi-Fi. And then a device that doesn't support EAP Wi-Fi, like a PlayStation Vita or a um, PlayStation Portable or PS4 even, if that's your thing. Now, EAP Wi-Fi is commonly used in enterprise facilities, and what it allows you to do is set up multiple user accounts on one Wi-Fi network. However, it's also used commonly in schools and um, colleges and stuff, and it can be very difficult to get most devices to connect to it, besides like an iPad or an Android phone, maybe. And, well, however, most computers can connect to it. Devices like a PS Vito? No way. If you try and connect to an EAP Wi-Fi on one of those, it will just say, it will just say um, an, an unknown error code, and it, will, it won't let you. So yeah, this is this what this this is a really great way to make those things work, okay? So you just need to go on your computer, um, and you just want to open up that you want to connect to the EAP Wi-Fi on the computer and have your device that cannot connect to EAP Wi-Fi ready, okay? And you just want to open up this file. It's in the description. It's a batch file, so you can look at the code if you want. It's completely legit. You can scan it for viruses. It's it's safe, okay? Trust me. Um, and then you just want to open it, alright, and it will ask for administrative access, and you just want to say yes to that, and then you will see this thing here. And what this will do, okay, is you can create, it's going to create a Wi-Fi network out of the EAP Wi-Fi you're currently connected to. And then you're going to be able to tell your computer to make all of the connections from your current Wi-Fi network go into that other one, meaning it will have internet access and stuff. So, yeah, this is, it may sound complicated, but if you just follow along, it will work, okay? So you're gonna give your the network you're going to create a name, okay? Now I suggest um, that you try to avoid putting spaces in, because I've had problems with that. Okay, so just do something simple, like, um, Like, uh, YouTube tests Wi Fi. Yeah, I'm not call mine YouTube tests Wi Fi. I mean, all full caps. And you'll enter a password, okay? And your password needs to be, um, I believe it's more than 10 characters. It might be more, I think it's actually, no, I think it's more than 6. I'm not sure. So, whatever a WPA2 or Yaos you would do, um, it won't give you an error if you enter one that's invalid. Just keep that in mind. If it doesn't work, try maybe try using a new password. Okay, it might it might start working. So um yeah, just want, oh, go in your wireless network password section and you want to type in whatever you want your password to be. I'm just going to use YouTube video Wi-Fi. I'm just going to use YouTube video. All right, and that should be long enough. Okay, if you don't if you can't get it to work, try YouTube video as your password. I guess. Um, so yeah, just that should work, so hit, hit enter, alright, and it will come up with a few things, but then uh, eventually it will just say broadcasting as WPA2, SSID, YouTube test Wi-Fi, and YouTube video is password, okay? So now it's broadcasting a, a um, connection, you can even kill this window and it will still do it. Now you want to open up your um, network and sharing center, alright? And you want to go change adaptive settings, all right. And in here, you'll see a network that is identifying, all right. You want to find something that's identifying. You want to keep on refreshing by right clicking and clicking, clicking on refresh, all right, in this network until it eventually comes up with the name. And the name should be what you just entered for your thing up there. If it's not, you have a problem. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Eventually, you'll see it change from identifying to YouTube test Wi-Fi or whatever you call it all right so I'm gonna keep on refreshing refresh refresh there we go YouTube test Wi-Fi I don't know why it's put two down maybe there's already a YouTube test Wi-Fi in my area I don't know um <laughs> it'll work though so it's gonna go properties all right and then go here to sharing you want to check this box here 
and make sure this box is unchecked. You'll see here how it says this wireless network connection 2. You just click on here and click show to wireless network connection 2. Alright, and hit OK. And it will say it's shared. And now you refresh. Now on your device that does not support EAP, you then turn that on. Now I can't show this, sadly, but you go on to it. I'm using a PS Vita right now, okay? And I'm going to click on YouTube Test Wi-Fi and type YouTube Video as my password. YouTube, YouTube. I wish I could show this to you guys, but I can't because it doesn't let me record my screen. So now I type YouTube Video as my password and hit OK. All right, and it's going to say Peace Way, and it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm just connecting to it now from my PS Vita. I can't show it on screen, but trust me, it's working. And I just connected to it. Alright, now I'm going to open up Google. I'm going to search hello. Alright. And it worked. I just searched hello. I got results. I'm connected to the internet. Everything's working. Alright. So yeah, hope this video helps some people having trouble with EAP Wi-Fi's. Um, I don't recommend closing this window until you actually are done with the network. I've had problems with doing this. I did code this myself. I can't seem to figure out why, because it really should work even if you close the window. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching. Wow. <sighs>